Hello, I'm Dr. Fitzgerald and this is the opening segment of a multi-part lecture for Learning Module 2. In this presentation we'll be looking at argument analysis. Incidentally, the image you see here depicts a very famous philosopher who's about to drink poison, specifically hemlock. Anyone know who this is? It's Socrates, the teacher of Plato and one of the most gifted questioners of all time. Our objectives in this learning module are very straightforward. By the time you finish with the required learning resources and the learning activities, you'll be able to apply the principles of faithfulness and charity when reconstructing arguments, include missing premises and, in some cases, missing conclusions in argument reconstruction, recognize the distinctive structure of extended arguments, distinguish between deductive and inductive inferences, and understand the role that missing premises play in evaluative arguments. We already know some important features in argument reconstruction. For instance, how to recognize premises and conclusions on the basis of the logical relationship of support or justification offered by the former. So we're now ready to move to the next step, deciding whether to accept or reject a conclusion on the basis of the reasons given for it. In order to do this, we need to incorporate two additional aspects of argument reconstruction, specifically faithfulness and charity. When we're being faithful in reconstructing an argument, we're trying to present the argument exactly as the arguer intended it. Basically, we're putting ourselves in the shoes of the arguer. If we don't do that, then we're not really constructing the argument, we're fabricating it. We're just making it up. By the way, the image you see here is a representation of the Christian virtue of faithfulness. The Latin term for faithfulness is fides, the word you see inscribed above the figure. Incidentally, this is an image painted by Giotto, the great Italian painter of the early Renaissance. It happens to be in the Arena Chapel at Padua. The principle of charity insists that we make the argument as strong as we can by maximizing the truth of the proposition it contains and the strength of the logical relations that exist between the propositions. Again, the image here is a painting by Giotto depicting the Christian virtue of charity. In Latin, that's rendered caritas, which is the word you see above the figure. So there are really two concerns here. First, capturing the arguer's intentions, and second, making the argument as strong as possible. The principles of faithfulness and charity address these two concerns. Faithfulness requires that we say exactly what the arguer intended to say. Charity requires that we make the argument as strong as possible. Now, occasionally these principles conflict. Typically, this happens when, in being too charitable, we go overboard and make the argument stronger than it actually is. So, if we have a conflict, we must always favor faithfulness. Once we analyze an argument, we must make sure we're analyzing the argument that has actually been made, not the one that we're imagining. Please continue to the next segment.